Okay, guys. Let's talk about another biology problem. Again, a DNA uh, structure related problem. That is, a double stranded DNA has 30% thymine. So, what will be the percentage of cytosine in that DNA? Right? So, in all this type of problem, the key to understand and answer this question is to understand the complementary nature of the DNA. We know if thymine is present in this strand, cytosine, I mean, adenine will be present in the other strand. Similarly, if cytosine is present in this strand, guanine will be present in the other strand. So, that will be the complementary nature because adenine always pairs with thymine, guanine always pairs with cytosine. And that's the rule of thumb. That's called uh, the Watson Creek based pairing. And also, according to Shalgoff's ratio, there is a ratio and percentage of adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine that is present in a cell. So, let's talk about this question again. Now, the double stranded DNA is 30, having 30% 30 thymine. So that means, if, so again, if we, if I draw the complementary strand here, so if we are having 30% thymine, that is here, in all these cases, so thymine is 30%, definitely thymine will be paired with adenine, so obviously adenine also will present in 30% ratio, that is something, right, because that actually completes the whole idea, right, because if Thymine is 30% here overall, so adenine will be 30% because that's why adenine and thymine will pair, right? So if we change this ratio, then obviously there won't be some mispairing, mismatch, not pairing region of the of the DNA will be present and nick will be present and very problem will occur. Generally, if all the bases are attached by the hydrogen bonding, that means adenine pairs present in 30%, thymine also present in 30%. So here we go. So we know the total number of adenine and thymine in this complete double stranded DNA is 60%, right? On the other hand, so if adenine and thymine is 60%, so what will be the percentage remains? Because from the 100, if I distract this 60%, it will be subtract the 60%, it will give us 40. So less rest of the 40% will be definitely guanine and cytosine. Right? Right? So if the combinatory amount of guanine and cytosine is 40%, what will be the amount of guanine and cytosine each? Definitely, again, similar amount. So we need to divide 40 by 2 because two bases are there. It will be 20%. So it will be 20% of the guanine, 20% of the cytosine. So similar answer again. So we have 20% cytosine that is present here in this DNA. Right? So 20% cytosine, 20% guanine, and 30% thymine, 30% adenine. It completes the structure of the DNA in the 100% basis. Right? So though, remember, these are the questions, these are the math problems that are destined to provide you in competitive exams. So it is very easy, everything is so easy. But actually, in real cell, these things are not that easy. These things never present in this equal amount to give a per per perfect value. They change because we are living organism. Everything changes with time. There are problems, modifications of bases. Not only adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine is only present. Many other modified bases might be present. So these problems occur in natural and general way. But usually, when you're talking about this type of problems, that's how you need to solve them.